So I said, I talked about this yesterday, okay? So again, this is like that whole priority thing on your camera, right? So I go here and I'm out, I set my, first thing I do is I push the button to set ISO. And it's clearly stated here ISO. So I got it at 100. So now I've got it set at 125th of a second, which is the beginning of my comfort zone for, um, for shooting. Now I have the mode button. Now the mode in this one gives you what's called a non-cord mode, which we're not going to use because that's when you have a, a, a strobe that's being blown and it'll read what the strobe is throwing. Then you have a corded mode where this thing is plugged right in to whatever you're working on, your camera and your, or your tether or whatever, and then that's going to read it automatically. But what we're going to do is ambient mode. Now ambient is obviously re related to ambient light, the light that's around us, the light that's in the room. So, so far on this meter, I have it set for 100 ISO and 125th of a second. Now I can control that with the buttons on the side. So let's say I want my shutter to be 60 or I want my shutter to be 250. That's the first control that I have. So I make my deci decision what my priority is. So I'm at 125th of a second. My light is coming in from this direction. So I want this bulb to read the light that's coming in from this direction. So now it says to me, I'm really at 100, at 100 ISO, I'm very low for, for f-stop, for aperture. I'm only at maybe 1.2. So that's not going to work for me in here. So what's the first thing I want to do? I'm going to bump up my ISO. Okay, so I'm going to bump up my ISO. And as I do this, it changes the numbers on the screen. So it, it can tell me exactly where I need to be. So in order for me to get to 4.0, I'm going to keep clicking, keep clicking, keep clicking. And I need to be close to 800 ISO in here for this particular shot. So this thing is your tutor. It's not only your essential tool, but if you're learning how to work your camera, this is the one that'll teach you the relationships between the three numbers that we've talked about. So you need to learn how to use this. Now, it has this other button too, like your camera, where it says aperture, where you can change the uh, aperture number or the shutter number. So again, it works like that same, like the camera thing we were talking about, where those three numbers kind of all work together.